I know, falling asleep at my desk is really bad. But in my defense, catching up on all the stuff I've missed has been really tiring. I don't know how I've gotten through it. You work too hard, so I come bearing recreational choices. What if I like working too much? Then you get ill, and we hang out a lot. And if you get ill, then I get ill. And if I get ill, then how can I maintain my high levels of awesomeness? OK, good point. So pass me the Rubik's Cube. You know that of all the recreational choices, you've gone for the least recreational one. Hey, you bought it, so gimme. <laughs> That's how I've gotten through it. We're electrically connected, we're lighting our own way. We got this all together, no matter what they say. Real tailoring isn't just a snug fit. The perfect suit jacket should look formal, but not feel it. It should feel like a second skin. And as you should have guessed, that's what you're going to be making this week. I've brought experienced tailor Georgina Fenner, who made this suit, and is an ex-Athena student in To Mark Your Work. Tailoring has always meant a lot to me. I think that's because I'm the youngest of my siblings. The whole time I was in high school, I wore a blazer that belonged to my six foot tall older brother. Hardly a good look. <laughs> it wasn't until I came here and started making my own clothes that I actually began to feel like me. But Ali and I, have decided that making a formal jacket for yourselves isn't what we want for the assignment. We want you to design a jacket for someone else. You get to decide who. Now, the cut you choose and the materials should be tailored to the personality of the person wearing it. Think about what's right for them, for who they are. Don't make them feel like an awkward high school kid in their older brother's blazer. <laughs> I mean, Lenny's kind. How do you express kind in a jacket? But then he's funny and, and excitable. But then he's clever and loyal. I guess he's kind of like a Labrador. Isn't that your favourite dog? Yeah. Nyla, have you ever thought you and um, Lenny might be more than friends? Because I likened him to a Labrador. But it's your favourite dog because it has all the qualities you like. Meaning Lenny has all the qualities you like. But not the... Friend, kind of like. The other, kind of like. <laughs> OK, this is going to need 26 seconds. Are you ready for the next step in your 70s punk rock education? You're going to play it anyway, so I might as well be ready. I'm very wise, Miss Malik. This is 26 seconds by Anna and the Lies. It's only 26 seconds long. Does that even count as a song? This is more than a song. When I have a dilemma, it turns out 26 seconds is the ideal length of time for me to figure it out. This is more than a song. This is a decision maker. One, two, three, four! 26 seconds. Five, 26. OK. I like Lenny. I like Lenny a lot. I like hanging out in his room and listening to 70s punk, but there isn't that feeling. The hand sand feeling. What? That's what I call it. But Dale, suddenly everything went upside down and I knew. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So, no. No handstand feeling. Hey, Lee. Want to work over here? There's plenty of room. No, I'm good. So, who are you making a jacket for? No one. So it's Lee then? Since her appendix burst, you've been all pathetic about her? No. Maybe. Just shut up. Hi. Uh, hey. 
OK, I just wanted to see if it's cool if I made my jacket for you, but... You can't, because I'm making Sam a jacket. I was first. I call dibs. You call dibs? What are you, five? Lenny, you don't get to talk to anyone about maturity. Not just because I recently got a bubble machine in my bedroom doesn't mean I'm immature. Uh, it does too. No, it means I like bubble machines. OK, could, could we all just maybe stop? This is getting a bit weird. Exactly. Walk away, Lenny. You're making Sam feel weird. That, that isn't what... Wow, that is a lot of me. Yeah, I am pretty committed. Is it that, or is it like the bit in a film when the cop finds a serial killer's basement? Hey, you know that is the best part of the film, so quit complaining. Okay. You all right? Yeah, I guess. You sure? Because you look pensive. Feeling a bit reflective. Okay, so we've got pensive and reflective. Something is very wrong. I had this idea that if I made my jacket for Sam, that things would get back on track. But it turns out that the F bit in BFF doesn't always quite work out. Sometimes it just stands for best friends for a while. That's sad. We're not going to grow apart, are we? No chance. No. We're BFFFs, best friends forever. For sure, you're stuck <laughs> with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. But still no handstand feeling. Hang on. Is this a cape? Are you doing a cape for my jacket? Maybe. I need your measurements. You're making your jacket for me? Yes! But don't hug me or I'll change my mind. What if I squeal excitedly? Same effect. In that case, fine, yeah, cool, whatever. Yeah, you really don't suit mute emotions, do you? <laughs> Who are you making yours for? Lenny. Good. Is it? Yes. You're making something special. He deserves that. I, uh, still feel bad about what happened. I yeah, and when. It was his birthday. Don't look at me like that. Sorry, no looks, no judgment. I judge me. Look, bad timing isn't something you can always control. Unless it wasn't Lenny's birthday. Are you suggesting rewinding time? Because I don't think that's feasible. Rewinding time isn't, but Lenny needs cheering up. And a birthday do-over is. And what exactly is a birthday do-over? Not sure yet, but whatever it is, it involves cake. One time, I went to a magazine launch party and they had an actual bouncy castle. That is my idea of hell. Lenny would like it. Yeah, he would. But what I think he'd like more is getting the band back together. Mm. I'll talk to Sam and then sort out the basis situation. I don't like this material. I don't know, it feels OK. I'm not going for OK, Samuel. I'm going for perfect. Look at you, doing more work than is absolutely necessary. I feel like a different girl this time. So, Sam? So, Nyla? I need to ask a favour. Yeah, I got that from your opener. I need a drummer. Well, actually, Lenny needs a drummer. He wants to get the band back together? Yes, but he doesn't know it yet. What are you plotting? A belated birthday party for Lenny. I thought the surprise would be a better surprise if this was part of it. Well, that's a ridiculous idea because no one likes surprises. Lenny does. When are you planning this shindig? Oh, tomorrow after the presentation. Sam can't do it. Sam can speak for himself. But, yeah, um, Nisha and I have got tickets to go to the cinema tomorrow afternoon. Sorry, Nyla, maybe another day? But another day won't be the same. And don't you want things with Lenny to go back to the way they were? Yeah, but we don't need, like, a big night for that to happen. It's different with guys. Isn't that kind of sexist? Maybe. But look, I'll tell you how it's going to go. We're going to find ourselves out with a group of people, and then we'll fall into talking with the group. And one of you will apologise. No, we'll just go back to pretending like it never happened. At the very most, there might be, like, a... nod. Wow. OK. Well, uh, I guess I'll find another drummer. No, it's 
it's okay. I get it. Air drumming is different to real drumming. I just thought, you know, the skills would be transferable. Oh, finding a drummer is really hard. Don't be sad. Even without a band, it's still a party, and parties are awesome sauce on awesome chips. Really? Are they, though? Mm-hmm. There's dancing and tiny sandwiches, and then there's more dancing, and we get to wear suits this time, and did I already mention the dancing? Mm-hmm. Maybe, even though I can't find a drummer, I can find a bassist. You're not seriously considering Naomi, are you? What? She's good. And she's done it before. She has a moody look on her face all the time. Yeah, but it sort of gave it a bit of an edge. You know what I mean? Naomi is a she-witch with a dark soul, and she made your life hell. I know. But Lenny didn't. And I'm doing this for him, not her. I'll see you guys in a bit. All the machines are taken. No, only two of the machines are taken. Fine, but we still don't want you here. OK, well, this isn't going to take long. Um, would you like to play bass with Lenny tomorrow night? No. Why not? Because I hate you and everything you stand for. What do I stand for? You smile too much. Not around you. <laughs> OK, but this isn't about hatred. You like playing the bass, and I'm giving you an opportunity to do just that. The answer's still no. Why did you pick the bass? There are so many other instruments you can play by yourself, like piano or lead guitar or, I don't know, cello. But the bass is meant to be played with other instruments, and you chose it. I chose it when I was 14. Things change, and we're done here. Well, I tried. Hey, Nyla. This thing tomorrow night is Lee going. Yeah, she's helping me organize it. Can I come? Sure. What am I supposed to do tomorrow night with you not around? No clue. I think you should have said yes to Nyla. I mean, you have this thing where you only ever talk to one person, and life is just boring that way. I don't think so. Let's be honest. We're already running out of things to say to each other. You OK? You seem quiet. I'm OK. So when I do shoots, I have to make this say something like carefree or sassy. Carefree, sassy and uh, Laughing at salad. What you did was not, I'm OK. Sorry. You're right. I'll be a rubbish model. <laughs> so? It's this party tomorrow. Do we really have to go? Because I don't think I'll fit in. I mean, it's art college. Everyone's so cool and I'm not. You're cool. You're very cool. You even make drinking tea look cool. It sounds boring, I know, but my perfect evening would just be me and you, watching bad telly, eating pizza. Yeah, but we do that a lot. We're doing that now. And you like parties, so ignore me. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll try again. <clears throat> It'll be good. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it really was. You should totally stick to plumbing. Mm. <laughs> I have an imperfect solution to the situation. Which situation? Because there are a lot. Actually, the only thing that has worked out was the fact that the shop had streamers. The uh, lack of a drummer situation. Look. Yeah, it sounds horrible, but it does vaguely resemble drumming. And we have a basis. Mm. OK. Things might actually be OK. Oh, please stop. What? I'm beginning to like it. Seriously? 
So, encapsulating Lenny in a jacket. Something fun and fearless. Presenting your friendly neighborhood rock god man child. Yeah, this is that jacket. And it is pretty hideous. Is it safe to enter? You haven't been building a life size robot version of me or anything, have you? Have you been looking at my mood board? What? No. You are still going with the cape, though, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. What's up? I wanted to get you, and I just don't think I'm there yet. Yeah, well, there is a lot of me to get because of all my layers. Your layers? Yes, I have many of them. I'm like 75% lasagna. Okay, I know you're 75% joking, but you're actually right. And you need to go. Mean? Not mean. I need to finish your jacket. I designed this for my dad. He's not here to back me up, but trust me, the design and fit are perfect for him. I like it, but I can't mark based on trust, so I'm grading you a B. <laughs> OK, next up, Nisha. So I made a jacket for Sam. Some of you may think it's quite simple, but that's because Sam doesn't like things too flashy or shiny. Also, I chose the colour because it really brings out the colour of his eyes. It's different for you, Nisha, and I'm really impressed because it's right for Sam. I agree. I'm grading you an A. <laughs> Finally, the grade I deserve. <laughs> OK, next we have Satori. Mine is for Lee. Um, Lee, you'd better get up here. So, talk us through it. I know Lee would have wanted something as nondescript as possible, but... I don't see her as that. I don't see her as nondescript at all. How do you feel in it, Lee? I don't hate it. Me neither. I'm grading you a B. It's very good. Thank you, Satori. And finally, we have Nyla. I made my jacket for Lenny. So what makes you think this encapsulates Lenny? Well, Lenny's funny and fun. And he's not just the kind of guy that has a bubble machine in his bedroom, but he's kind and strong. And he's far, far more mature than he lets on. <laughs> and I wanted the jacket to show that. That's it. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I am a bit gutted that it hasn't got a cape. Wait, don't jump to conclusions. <laughs> For emergencies, you said you wanted the jacket to encapsulate all of Lenny. OK, I'm grading another A. <laughs> this has been really impressive, guys. <laughs> OK, thank you, everybody. Um, now, neither's asked me to say something. Uh, suit up canteen in ten. I have absolutely no idea what that means. So, Lenny, there's uh, something I want to show you. Birthday, so welcome to your birthday do-over. You did this for me? Yeah, me and Lee. Oh, this is too much. Oh, it's a shame you think that, because there's more. <laughs> now everyone can see how awesome you are and how great my jacket is. Oh! <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> So, Sam has a thing, and I can't drum, but I do have an app. Thank you. Hi, uh, so, yeah, we're the local superhero orchestra. We can't be that without Sam, so I guess we're the band. One, two, three, four, go! 
Okay, so I'm usually late to things, but not this late. Oh, you look hot in a suit. Hey, hey, have you been crying? Oh, no, sir. Uh, hay fever. I'll meet you there. Just text me. What's going on? Sorry. I'm, I'm being stupid. I should have... Today's the anniversary of my mum's. That's when she died. Oh, Dale. No, don't be all nice. I'm an idiot. It's no different to any other day. Not really. I'm just not great with suits. Last time I wore this was... Oh, I'm so, so sorry. No. The last thing I want to do is make you upset. You're so excited about the party. I was excited about the party, but not anymore. Some things are more important. The dancing, tiny sandwiches. I don't care. I just want to be with you. Go, go. So, tell me again how much you like your jacket. Mish, I've told you 18 times already. I've been counting. So, wouldn't it be nice to make it 20? I like it. I like it. I just want to go and um, drop this off. It's a birthday card for Lenny. I'll be like. Dale was. Anyway, this looks amazing. If only Sam had agreed to drum. Lenny looks pretty happy though. That drum machine sound is an insult to music. Sam, I know what you're thinking, but we'll miss the film. So, we miss the film. You know what, this is more important. <laughs> okay, uh, we are the local superhero orchestra. Okay. One, two. Wait. This next song I want to dedicate to my really, really awesome friends, Lee, Sam, and uh, Nyla, my BFFF. <laughs> She'll know what it means. Uh, this is 26 seconds. Okay, 26, 26 seconds. 26 seconds to the end of a song, 26 seconds to the chance to start, 26 seconds to face the heart, 26 seconds to change your life. All you people look the same, all you people are like the same. 26 seconds of a go insane, 26 seconds of a change of name, 26 seconds of a lose control, 26 seconds of a get it all. All you people look the same, all you people are like the same. 26 seconds, 26 seconds, 26 seconds! Handstand feeling.